Yeah. Well, good morning. How are you? Oh, great, Doc. Thank you very much. What an honor. This is good. <laughs> this can go anywhere. I swear. This was not my idea. Well, but I am absolutely privileged. Well, that's, 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 well, that's fine. That's going to be fun to go anywhere. Anyway, well, just for uh, folks that, that aren't familiar with you, um, go ahead and just kind of tell us a little bit about your background. Okay. Um, I was doing some math in my head. I'm like, where did this start? They, 1986 is where this thing started. And it's four years into the future. So I, I think just by accident, I think I've become a marathon swimmer. And um, it's evolved over time. At every, single, every single event that I've done, every crossing, has always meant something. It was a very personal journey. It had a, um, a personality of its own. It, uh, it, at that point in my life, all the way up to where it's going to be uh, in four years. And four years will be a Guinness World Record. I'll be, I'll be the 75th person to swim across Molokai and the oldest guy. So it'll be awesome. And the and I was just thinking about this, like when you, you needed the punch, you needed something in the back of your psyche to punch you through moments in that, in that um, event, in that challenge, you know, and you had to kind of come to the, you had to earn your beach spot. You're the only one on a beach. You're the only one to do it. It's, it's all you. And it's at night. It starts at midnight. And it's, it's scary. And there's all kinds of things going on, but there's, the biggest piece of this, I, I was like, you know, I, there was a want to do it. And then there was a unfinished business part of it. But then how do I, how do I explain the story? Like how, like, what's the, what's the biggest punch through? And it came down to this and it came down to, I have to be strategic in this. Um, age was a great thing. It was a great motivator. I'm, I'm loving my age. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Uh, it, it's a commodity. And the biggest part was the fuel source. And I'm four years in as, as long into uh, a carnivore uh, diet. And I, I have nothing but PRs in my calendar. I track it every day and where I get a PR. And, and, and like, like you say a lot, like your, your training's intuitive. It's very, very intuitive. It's very involved, almost to the point of like scientific. But you know, you know for certain, you've been doing it so long that, you know what, this set's not for me today, but this day will make a difference four years from now. You know, that, that's how certain I am of, of it. You know, like, um, yeah, so like, I keep telling people, they ask me what I do for a living. I'm, I tell them I, I'm a human lab rat. I'm, I'm in the middle of an experiment. And I am about halfway through. So by the time I get to Molokai, I'll be eight or eight, nine years into carnivore, completely carnivore through the whole thing. And I had this hypothesis. It never made sense to me. Um, some, you know, maritime swimmers I've, I've, I chit-chatted with. And the first thing they would always say is like, well, what do you eat? You know, and oh, I'll tell them nothing, you know, and they're like, really? Yeah. My hypothesis for Molokai and, 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 um, like the, the base of like w what I can like give back to somebody in, in a, in a voice that I'm earning by getting to Molokai in their health as a coach, uh, would be. Yeah, I didn't need that. All I needed was water and electrolytes. I burned fat and it made the difference. That's what I want to come back with, you know, and then that's, that's where I'm going. And I'm proving that every day. It's really remarkable. And I've, I've had a couple of experiments with myself, with other people that I was swimming in Lake Michigan. I use Lake Michigan a lot. And um, it was five, six hour swims. I didn't have to get out once. I wasn't even hungry. And the people I was with, they got out four times. They have a, I don't know what the hell they were doing, having a picnic or something, but they were starving. 
And I'm like, well, this is working out awesome. You know, so I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated by it. I didn't, I started this by jumping and then figuring out what I'm doing as I'm building the shoot on the way down, going, God, I hope this thing works, you know? And it, it was fascinating, like being with, on the coaching part of Rivero, um, it started out like, man, what am I going to say? I, how am I going to fill up a half hour? You know, <laughs> well, I ain't never stayed on a half hour. It, it, if it was an hour and a half, that would be minimum. And it would be the best conversation, laughing a whole time, moments of seriousness. And a lot of times it comes up like you take a deep dive into, you know, um, what just might be holding people back. You know, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of uh, um maybe a little bit of anxiety, maybe a lot of influences that have, have been subliminally layered over such a long time. And, and you know, you just have to whittle away at those and just have a conversation about it. And like you said, uh, so many times, it's your example, you know, and I'm, 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 there's a big part of me that's very introverted. And for me to say that, to somebody but now i i feel it as a a um a, a very relative thing to say to somebody in that conversation to show them like you can go this way like you have like your diet like you can either sit on a bench and little wait a time or you can kill it you know right in the middle is your fuel source and that's it and and you, you start tapping into that, you, you walk through a doorway and you're just going to be stepping over a threshold and like your possibilities and your, your direction after that, you, you have no idea, you know, and you'll, you'll be um, such a, a great version of yourself. And that is the truth. It, it, it's just a matter of choice for that moment and, and the fear to get over it and I kind of punch through and like dig into that, you know, just jump and figure it out. Come here. Listen to the stories, man. You know, you, you will not be, you'll be awestruck. So, I, man, I didn't mean to go off on a rant. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I got so, I was thinking about all these things I wanted to say. I'm like, now I'm hyper. I'm trying to get them all out, you know. But it's, um, it, there's so many metaphors. I, I live off metaphors and, you know, I, I consider the training, like I, I'm designing, like once you start showing up and you make it a non-negotiable, you put it in a calendar and you could just blueprint your life, you know, just make it a non-negotiable. This is what I, this is the conversation I have myself. And I, I have 20 calendars of the same calendar and I could go back 10 years and say, where was I 10 years from now? What did I do this month? You know, like, how's my progress going from this, from this guy? you know, from the guy 10 years ago, you know, and it's, and, and I could do that. I, I wrote that down because sometimes someone would come through my, my doorway and say, Hey, listen, Niall, I'm going to England. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. What do you got? Like, how, when did you start this, this, and this? And I could just show them, okay, 10 weeks out, we did this. You know, we, we start tapering down, we start amping up, we, whatever. Or, and I could assure them, like, what you're doing is probably not the best way to go. And there's a million different ways to do it. You know, just, um, yeah. So, <laughs> one, one time, am I still on? Am I, am I still on too much here? Um, I, I wanted to tell oh, you okay. this. There's, there's so this much. About you, man. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's all about me. Um, no. Um, I don't know where to fit this one in, but I wanted to tell you, um, it, every once in a while, like, I, in my opinion, you, you won't even find what you're here on this planet for unless you have a good fuel source because you won't be motivated enough to go there and you'll be, you'll be held back. And it's, it's, a, it's a delightful thing, a powerful thing to say that, I mean, you're in charge of this, however it turns out, good or bad you are in charge and and the, and it's in the choice every day and this this is definitely the easy way to go i mean it is the absolute easiest way to do 
goal if you're like me and have one pan in the house and a half a cow in a refrigerator and a ton of training that you love to do because you're, you're, you're with some of the best people at 5.30 in the morning. That's how you hit the refresh button every day. All you got to do is show up. You don't tiptoe catching butterflies at 5.30 in the morning like you're like, oh, this is so awesome. No, it sucks. It's really hard, you know, but every day and you, you're with just show up, you get carried by people's attitudes. And there's a lot of horses there and there's a lot of great people. Then, now it's just the cool part, you know, um, resistance training every third day without fail, either in the morning or at night, depending on how much torque I want to put behind it. And then I'm going to start um, jujitsu next month on the first or third, I think it is, you know, because I want that. I want that fight, you know. I want that that place that you're like, man. I, I I'm about to give up here. I, I hope he he gives up before I do. I'm not sure, you know that that place. And then uh, you want you want to hang on until a bell rings or or something, you know. And that's the that's the last three miles of Molokai. So I bring that in to fight that and feed the um, the psyche part of the training, you know, on land with somebody else. You know, like maybe the biggest guy in the class that you fear. Oh, hey, man, you want to be my, my partner today? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm here. It's, here it's going to come my way soon. But that's the way I would train the last three miles of, of, the, of Molokai. You know, like when you're just about to give up, you never know. Just, just five more seconds. Just five more seconds. And it comes down to that. Every single event I've ever done done over the last 35 years i was amazed that i've been doing this 35 years i, I just I, I don't understand it you know if it's very bizarre and i've never walked out of the beach i had to crawl i had to crawl and half the time i i just collapsed on a beach now that's a good swim you know that in my mind that's like rocky going 15 rounds you know i just want to make it i just want to make it and there's a lot of wonder, like it all started in 86 when I was standing on a rocks at a uh, rainbow beach on the north end of the, of, the, of the lake. I don't know why I was there. I guess I was new or something, but that was my spot for the whole summer. It was an easy job. I didn't no one around and I loved it. I said, this is great. I'm part introvert. So I'm like, awesome, you know, but I wondered my best friend, was, was the beach across. And I was like, I, I wonder if I can make it. That's it. That's where the conversation stopped in my head. Just wondered, you know, not what if or yeah, but nothing. I just wondered about it. And I wonder if I can make it to the other side. And at that point, looking back at it, it's not that far. It was probably a couple of miles, but it was a big deal back then, you know, especially to like the, some high school kid wandering, and especially if you're going to do it by yourself, because no one, they didn't allow you to do that. So I wandered, and on my last day, I said, well, let, let's try this. <laughs> there was no plan B. There was like, there was, there, that's it. Just, let's just try it. I, I never thought to think, well, what happens if you don't make it? You know, like, how deep is this water? I mean, it's like Michigan. It's not pretty. You know, so I actually made it around. I said hello to my friend. Everybody was like, where'd this guy come from? And then I went back out and swam back. And then it, I was so uh, taken back by that, but not the swim, but it was just like, man, I couldn't believe I did that. It was, what else is possible? You know, like what else you had to dig into to make the next further mark? You know, and it was always like a secret journey, you know, and it was always like, man, a, a secret thought that was like pleasant to me as I'm sitting through class or whatever else I was doing. You know, and that was my primary thoughts all the time. I, I wonder if I could swim across that. That'd be kind of interesting because you're never different. Like you're, you're never the same. Once you cross it, you're, you change. Your life will never be the same. Your pole is so much higher. And you'll, you're, you're, you'll start to know things about integrity and, and discipline. And um, you never want to go back to something that was anything other and you you the people in your world you you will you will demand that from them 
because you demand it from yourself. This is all stuff I learned from swimming. And one time, everyone's, and I've been doing this so long, and I'm, sometimes I tried, I tried to give it up, you know, but I got sucked back in, you know, like a, I don't know, I, I just did. And because it was, maybe, maybe sometimes you just want to feel special for five minutes. I'm not sure. It's a long way to go, you know, but as you wonder, man, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And I remember 31 May, I got, I, I have to tell you about this kid. I, I just have to squeeze this in. I'm not even sure what time it is, but I do have to squeeze this one in. This was, you know, maybe as a surgeon or a doctor or, or, um, or, a, or a lawyer or whatever, you, you, you may go along and, you know, a lot of people can do what you can do at that moment, but then there would be a job that, you know what, this was yours. This was your, nobody else could have done this one like you. So you were put in this path of this person to do this thing. And, and you say, that's why I'm here. You know, so 31 May, I've had one of those, but I had it for 10 weeks. I had this kid, this kid came into my world unannounced with three of her, four of her kids of uh, uh, friends from New Hampshire. And they all had this, oh, let's go have some fun and swim the English Channel. This is what they were thinking. I'm like, what? You know, so I, I kind of overheard that. I, I'm like, how's this work or whatever? I, I, I didn't want to interfere or anything. She was just swimming at UIC with her buddies. And then one day she shows up at night, 31 May, which I was hitting my marks. Um, no, I was, I needed to hit my mark. I was, I was coming up short for about six months and I was denting my confidence. So I missed my mark by just a little bit on 31 May and it wouldn't make a difference, but I'm like, you know what? I have to go back and finish this. I'm like, so you get on a Dan Ryan, which is like the worst stri stretch of land on the planet and you go back there it was like three hours of driving to do just a little bit and then i got my my victory and my my triumph so i'm feeling pretty good this kid comes up and she's swimming in the next next lane over she's like i don't know junior in college now she goes to dartmouth i had no idea this was a, a big deal at all um and i say you know where are your buddies at Oh, they're, they're downtown. You know, they, they since left her. They found downtown, you know, out clubbing and everything else. They're, that trumped any, any part of going to England. So now she's on her own. And I go, well, where are they at? Oh, they're downtown having a good time, whatever. I go, no kidding. Like, what, what do you, like, where, where'd you come from? Oh, I'm from New Hampshire. I said, really? That's a long time. That's a long way to come to go swimming every day she goes no i'm gonna swim the swim the channel now i'm thinking the english channel she's like yeah i'm like no kidding now in my mind i'm 10 weeks out from catalina and i was doing it for brotherhood for the fallen which is um a policeman thing and i'm not letting her know this and i'm just kind of like you know kneeling her a little bit i'm saying hey look, would you have a game plan and she goes, well, yeah, I'm going to go down to Olive Park. And it, there was no, like, hardness. There was no, like, hard. Like, you know, it, in, there was no game plan, in other words. And, you know, Olive Park's novice. I said, listen, I got a game plan for you. Are you interested? She goes, yeah. I said, okay, I'll pick you up at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. And she went with it. I go, what? I, I'm scratching my head going, really? So this takes care of it. I go, I, now I got a partner. I'm kind of like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know this kid, but she's okay. I'm like, she'll, she's all, this is completely crazy. Her mother almost went nuts and I don't blame her, but slowly, but surely, you know, I, I got into it. Like, I had a game plan for her for the 10 weeks. She goes to England. I went to uh, uh, Catalina, both successes. It was awesome. But anyway, we get, we get spun up and the program was this, like we would, we would swim uh, 
after we get a little more advanced, we would swim two or three days really hard in the, in the pool. It was a 50 meter pool with a, a division one team. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Lake. And I had all the, the Latin longs for all the different places I've been. So I knew how long, how far, all the, all the hot spots and everything else in all of Lake Michigan, it seems, you know, but so I used, she goes, well, the water is going to be cold. I said, that's fine. It's going to be raining tomorrow. That's fine. The waves are going to be high. No problem. You know, I said, we're going to jump in at 430 regardless. So mother nature became the coach on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we took those. And we worked with them. And every time I saw a little bit of fear in her, we went that direction. And a little bit of fear, I would go that direction. And it was just, that would be the coach. And my God, I never met a tougher kid in my life that was the nicest, smartest kid I ever met. And so there's one more piece in claiming that beach spot. And when you do the English channel, it's your spot. This is yours. And I want, I want to ask this question, but it takes a little while and it's hard. It's a hard one. So I had a routine. I would drop her off at the hospital. She was doing stuff at Rush Hospital. And then I would go to work. Prior to that, I, we would have a feast after training. It was a great conversation. But I was waiting for the moment, like double Dutch. I was, I was waiting for the moment to get this question in. And it finally came up. There was a kind of pause in the, you know, in the pancake program, which I wouldn't do right now, to be honest with you. But I asked her, I said, listen, her name was Ika. And um, man, I go, so she wanted to be a doctor at this time. She wanted to be. I said, well, okay, well, everybody says that, you know, like it's either that or you want to work with the dolphins, you know. I said, okay, well, that's cool. All right. So, but where does this fit? I mean, you're, you're about to graduate. You are working at a hospital doing, I don't even know what, um, you're, you're here with your friends, but not, nothing's lining up here. So what's going on? Like what I'm looking for the giant care that's in her psyche. That's going to push her through that. She needs to see, she needs to put that on giant, like, um, neon sign in her head you know to, to push past that last three miles if not more and so she starts out with well i i did this thing with the children um in some other country somewhere and she starts going down this road and i stopped her and said listen that's nice but that's nowhere near good enough that is not good enough and she was like, whoa, whoa. I said, let me ask you this. What's worth not coming back for? Do you have something like that? Would you get on that plane? What's worth it to you? And then I just kept eating pancakes. About, I, for, I since forgot that I asked her that. But that is, that is legit when you want that one spot because not a lot of people could answer that. And you're after something. You're after to change something. When you get to the other side, you will change. You will go through it. You know, And it's hours of misery that you sign up for. You know what I mean? I can't believe I've been doing this 35 years. What the hell's the matter with me? Anyway, I asked her. So we go back to the same place and I'm eating the same thing. And she says, I thought about what you said. And I'm like, Oh my God, I don't want to hear this. My stomach just dropped. I swear. I, I, I'm not prepared for, for the next paragraph. I, I was ter terrified. And she says, I never told anybody this. And then she starts turning over her cards, you know, 
and you know little tears coming in my eye i'm trying to hang on to my man card it's it's slipping through my fingers and it's i go that is perfect you keep that in mind so when you get to france that's your first day on this planet that's when things will change and when and you're not swimming don't don't be fooled you're entering a ring so when you swim you're actually like jabbing you know like you want this fight you want you don't want to walk out you want to crawl out you want everything gone you want to crawl right to the end you want every bit of your fiber exposed you want your soul like to meet you that's the swim that's what you're doing you have to fuel that so that's what i'm doing here every day and I, i'd be able to turn back and say that but anyway she she asked me to go with her and my job on a boat unbeknownst to anybody else was to not let her out you know and uh i was not liked on that boat i was like a neanderthal you know and no way was she going to get out of that boat go get 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 out of that water there's no way and i it's very hard when you're when you're swimming no one can hear you it's very you don't know how far you are from somewhere so i i found a big british flag and i said okay this is how it's going to go i'm not even going to say anything to you like i'm going to open it up 100% you're you're just starting i'm going to close it you're halfway close it again you're 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 three quarters if i hold it like this you're so close you're one workout away don't give it up because at that point you you'll be you'll be um you'll be um not be able to tell how far you are from shore because it'll be dark and i did that and fast forward to the next day when we were celebrating i brought that flag in and i, I nailed it on a board on on the on the wall and i brought this big marker in i told all our friends i did this sinisterly i said go ahead and sign the flag because they stiffed her you know what i mean they they didn't they left her hanging so i said go ahead sign the flag they said congratulations this you know like this big you need to be a mouse to read it and the next one filed in the next one filed in i grabbed the marker i said this is how you, this is how you sign a flag and i grabbed that thing like a knife i said ika you showed the world your greatness and I underlined it. I took that flag off, gave her a big hug, and I never seen her again. Now that was a job well done. That 10 weeks, I remember praying every single day, please God, don't let me have a heart attack trying to keep up to this kid. I'm going I'm I'm dying here. Just give me one more day. And we went when we went to those pancakes, I was like probably worse than I am now. I could not get more out. I could not tell her enough. Like where else would I get that opportunity? to uh share this stuff with anybody you know and it was it was awesome and i'm now now fast forward to to molokai that's 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 the one i want that's my that's my thesis that's my dissertation you know and and everything and who is it applied to it applies to people ahead of me and people behind me you know it applies to people that are like you know you know being a little bit older doing this really accentuates the hope part of this you know and uh, the integrity part is someone's got to go first and i'm going to reach back and grab you with me you know and then that's that's how i kind of view it and i i want this victory for that reason it gives you a bit of a a stronger deeper voice you know that uh, just maybe somebody might listen you know um and it, it's it, it becomes powerful once you now i don't really care about guinness world records or any of that stuff but people do and it might just be a, a way in um it might be you know just a little bit more uh muscle behind a voice and um and 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 the the the, the whole part of it is because when you start this there's so much saturation in, 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 um, in sinister influences. And they don't care about you. They don't care about you. They really don't. They don't even know you. But when you talk to someone that's sort of like reaching out and like, like right here, 
it's like, listen, this is where it's going to be, you know, or, or this is where these are your possibilities that you can't even see. And, and you can see it clearly. You're either going to go left or right. Go right. You know, you're already tried left. You already tried the PC language. This is a little bit hard. And someone's got to say, you know, at the beginning, it's going to kind of suck. You know, it's okay. We're here. You know, right here. Let's, let's get it going. You know, so you can be like, a huge version of yourself and then everyone in your world will benefit from that everyone your your relationship your wife your relationship with your kids you know like and it's all encompassing it's not just physical it gets into your mental side it gets into your psyche side you know it, you, people won't uh, recognize you know the person you're becoming i don't really care about fitting into your bugle boy jeans from high school that's nothing that's just, bleh, that's going to happen if, you, if that's your thing, you know? But as far as like being, sitting in this, on this planet and being in line with somebody like Ika, and I, it, it was like I held on my whole life, you know, to, to have those 10 weeks with that kid so I could hold on, you know, um, in our training and, and gain her confidence. It was, it was, it was very, it was a great coaching, um, integrity experience, you know, similar to like the Phantom of the Opera or something. This school is awesome. Uh, and she, she became a doctor. She's, she's now a pediatrician. What do you think about that? I take full responsibility for that, of course, you know? <laughs> so, and it was like, I'm so happy to be, have just a little piece of that, um, that uh, knowledge like a way different, you know, like I, I gave her 10 weeks, like half a semester of like a really bizarre class, you know, and um, her mom now likes me, you know, like, which we, that took a while. But anyway, she, she, she found out I wasn't a predator or whatever. So it's, it's cool. But she's, she, um, you know, so everything worked out so incredible. Uh, and she's going to have a baby too. So, I, I mean, that's a great story. I might, I, I would tell that story. I, I've told that story before. Like I really got into the weeds on it and it was like three hours. I had to drag people back. Oh, no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, you know, and, it, and you never know who you're going to meet on these little journeys. Like, these aren't little journeys. These are big. And the Molokai, I think about it. I go, that's four years away. A lot of time for things that surface a lot of times for maybe an injury or two, which I already have a couple, but it's fine. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of time for dents and, you know, especially like as I'm approaching, uh, I'll be 60 when I do it. And so, you know, that's kind of unusual. I'll be the oldest guy. Hell yeah. You know, and it, it's, it's not even that it's like, do you're going to use that, for a strong, healthy, confident, super duper voice that you're gonna whisper into someone's ear as they come through your, your doorway. I told Ika, not to go keep going back to this. I go, listen, you're not swimming this for you. You're, you're gonna be a doctor at the same restaurant. You're gonna be a doctor, guaranteed. I could tell because you're smart as hell and you're motivated. But I tell you what, you're gonna have all the stuff on the wall, you know, like Dartmouth and you know whatever you know colleges you went to, you know all that stuff. And I'll tell you what, when someone walks into your office, they wanna they will want to know how did this little girl swim the channel. Someone will tell them. Oh, your your doctor. Ika's uh, patient. Oh, yeah, you, you know, she swam the channel. They won't care about anything on your wall. No one looks at that. I, I don't, I've never walked into a, a, a doctor's office and read their wall. But I've, I've, I've asked them about other things. They're going to ask you about that. They're going to be impressed by that. And, like, you may get a really sick, hurting person come through your world. And then, regardless, it's going to be hope. You know, so... You have no choice but to make this.
for people you've never ever met yet that you will and when you're a doctor and in that situation that says a lot man i mean that just says a whole bunch before they even walk through your door and it's i go you have got to do this and I, what a awesome privilege i remember saying like if i drop dead tomorrow after these 10 weeks i'm good i did it i found what i was on this planet for and that was it i was absolutely certain about it you know and i still am that it's hard to top that one you know and um but i'm looking i'm looking to do that i've i've had other swimmers come through my doorway and i i said no because they couldn't get past the elevator speech you know like why you're doing it so when you're you know, like i i i you know, like why you change this diet why you you know why you're looking for your fuel source why are you doing this losing 10 pounds it's not good enough you have to get into where you're at in your life like what about somebody else can they do without you really no no they can't you're going to need to be around for them you know healthily and strong yes put strength first you know, and then put yourself first and everybody else benefits. It's a hard thing to wrap your mind around. They think you're selfish or something. And it's, it's the opposite way around. Um, but that was, that was that. I'm sorry to keep rattling. I got, I got excited. That's my favorite story. That's all I got. <laughs> so, <laughs> So that, that's wonderful. That's a great, great introduction. Um, you know, I think, that, you know, a couple of things that struck out to me is, you know, you, you pointed out that, you know, if, if I know, like, it's just another five seconds or I'm folding the flag and, and you can see the end game, you know, and, and Professor Tim Noakes talks about this with the central governor theory of athletics. You know, we have world records where people actually speed up, you know, in the last you know, quarter mile or whatever it might be, where you think they've already kind of topped out, but they find that extra gear when they see the the end in sight. And so it's a lot about mental. I mean, you know, obviously training is a lot of physicality goes and I, every day I'm in there, sometimes I think, what am I doing? Why am I so crazy? But it, it, there's so much of a mental side of this. And, you know, and I know you, you, you coach people on this platform. So let me ask you, I mean, not everybody's going to be a, you know, swim the English channel or, or swim, you know, the Catalina or the Molokai. How are you connecting and, and what do you use to get people to, to stay the course? Because this is a, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to write it down on paper. You know, we can all yeah. do that and, and it's not even that hard, but the hard part is, you know, it's, it's really what's between the ears. And so how do you, what do you use to tap into people and, 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 and maybe motivate them in that way? Let me see. Um, well, I don't have a program. I just start out with a conversation. And I keep it very, very loose. And we try to find out where, where they're at. And, and we just kind of kind of work with that, wonder where that, wh where do you want to be? And what does that look like when you, when you arrive? You know, and I'm very honest. I'll say, you know, if whatever, say it's a, not an issue be my first thing is i'm not the guy to take you into the weeds if that's the conversation you need to have i'm i'm not that guy you know and i'm the guy that's um that will i i don't want to say motivate or inspire you i'm i'm i want to listen and let's let's split this let's split this this weight a little bit you know and then just by listening and like kind of like let's dig in a little bit because it goes it goes it goes way past the 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 initial i want to lose 10 pounds you know or 20 pounds or whatever like what else is going like what's what's happening like what why you know what's what's behind that like what's the motivator what's the what's the carrot that you want to hang right in front of you what's the neon sign that you need to like you you need to kind of face that you know, and like, do you want to let that go? You know, I'm like, you have complete control over this, you know? So like, okay, that's, that's a fact. You could choose dinner A or dinner B, 
Like, what's it going to be? Like, we'll, we'll put some, some ramifications and pros and cons for, behind each dinner, you know? And like, you know, have you tried this yet? And do you want to be in charge of this? Are you a, a leader in your own world? You know, we'll kind of go down some metaphors and like wherever the conversation takes us. But I also suggest that come to us, uh, come to Rivero, listen, even if you don't have to say anything, or even if you're like, you feel a little squirrely at the moment or whatever. And absolutely, there is no failure here at all. This is, you get up and you get going again. You get up, you're going to try this and try this. You just have to keep showing up. And you know what, how, you know how I do, and a lot of stuff I use for myself. Um, I'm, I'm pretty far down the trail now. I could probably like turn on or turn off at this point, but I always use this one. You know how they say 21 or 30 days to start a, start a new habit? I'm like, that's a long time, man. You know, I go, whoa, hang on. Let's just, let's just shoot the three days. And if we have to, let's go five minutes at a time and we'll do sets of five. You know, let's just try that. And well, and I'll, I'll also keep myself, I, you could have access to wherever that is, you know, like wherever, like those hot spots. Try to identify those hot spots in your days and maybe um, go around that. Get rid of the stuff from your everything. Clear out your everything. Clear out your cabinets, your boards, your everything. Make this, write it down where you want to go. Like, what does this mean to you? You know, like, the pros and cons of this meal, you know, and like multiply it by a thousand, you know, like you were talking about that itch yesterday. Um, you know, I, there's so many indicators. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll start to become like honed in on your own like body and those an itch or, you know, belching a whole bunch or bloating stuff. We just, we just discard. I, I see it as an indicator. Multiply that by one or two thousand. What are you going to have? You may have to start to a, uh, a an illness that you can't even pronounce. You know, and it it starts somewhere. It presents somewhere. You know, and it could be just that. It could be nothing too. It could be a bug or something. But you know, things like that. Zero in on it. And let's try it. Okay, make a list of those. Okay, good. We grab those. I'm itching. I'm this. I'm that. And right now, it's not a big deal. And if you get on social media, whatever, it's, it's. I don't know. It's, it's. No one makes it a big deal. But make it a big deal. Try to change it. Try change it from that point. You know. And another thing is, you know, if there's a lot of resistance and. There's the resisting to change and they're resisting the way that they're at and they're, they're not getting fed. There's nothing in the middle. They need to kind of separate that. I said, how about a month? Just try a month. And if you are um, really, really torqued up on, on the cholesterol thing and, and everything else that goes along with that and, you know, your fears and your anxieties are coming in, you know, a lot of that you'll have to own. You'll have to only figure out what, what part of that is mine, you know, like, and what part of it is like irrational. And so how about a month? A month is not going to jam up your arteries because you had your whole life to do that. Let's just take a month. Let's just take a step back for a month. How's that sound? And I guarantee you that month will take care of itself. You'll feel better. And I, and it's all, all of them, trying to describe what you're going to feel it's almost impossible you know um in just four weeks um it, it it's it's amazing and that that could be a very very strong hook if you could just get someone to go along with you for for four weeks um and and then that let let it build from there that's, that could be your, your doorway. And then you just take a step in and then you're like, okay. And then you just start, you start rolling. And it's the same thing with training and just show up. I don't care what you do. Show up. Even if you're in the parking lot for a week, just show up there. 
we're going to start this new habit. We're going to dig in the new trenches, or at least, you know, uh, dig a new one, one percentage to the left, you know, and, 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 and go that route. It's a little bit more. It starts accelerating in no time, you know, and then next thing you know, you're, I don't, you, you won't, you won't know where you're going to go. You, you, you won't even, because at this point you don't have access to those possibilities because of your fuel source and how that's affecting you. And you don't realize how that is affecting you. And this, this is a simple conversation. You know, and it's it's such a privilege to be, you know, picked out of the litter to be able to have this. And it really has nothing to do with swimming. You know, that just happened to be a coincidence, you know, um, and there's nothing to do. Here's a big point I make. There is no talent involved with this. That's 35 years of doing one thing. If anything, it's a disorder, you know, but that's one thing over time for a long time. And there's no talent involved, but I've never failed one ever. And the odds were always against me. And they're going to be really against me in Molokai. And I like that, you know, so this stuff, once you start changing your, and I'll, I'll hit them with my, my attitude because I've earned it and, I, and I'm confident of it. This will be your, these will be your words. You know, someone say, you say, if someone says to you, I'm ready, are you ready? You say, I'm born ready, man. Would you want, do you, do you want to know what you're doing? No, I'm good. I'm ready. I'm going to kick off the wall. I'm going to show up. Perfect. And then do that, you know, and that's, that's kind of where you want to get to, you know, and it takes a little bit of time and it's exciting. You know, you can see, you can see where the buttons you need to push clearly. And then you'd be gentle about it. And then a li eh, I'm not really PC to be honest with you, but I'm gentle and, and a little bit hard. Like, like I would take Ika and I walk her along, but use, use the hard mother nature as our coach. That's where we're going to go. But I'm with you doing it. That's the difference. I'm not reading off a manual. I'm with you. I am never going to tell you anything that I have not done you know, or am currently doing, you know, or where I want to go or what else, what else I have to kind of jump over. It, there's a sea of opportunities and each one you pick like a butterfly out of, of, a, of, a, of a field, it's an opportunity to get that much better. Ageless, awesome, you know, and there's no finish line. You just keep going, you keep at it and you open up one door, there's 10 more doors. I'm like, oh my God, this is great. And your attitude starts to change, you know, and you get a little bit better, a little bit better in, in whatever world you're, you're into, you know, I, I, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. I, I never thought I would be here talking, talking to everybody and yourself about a carnivore diet. Are you kidding me? You know, I, what, how did I find myself here? What's happening? You know, like what? How did I turn right? You know, like this is awesome, you know, and, and, and never so excited. I'm so passionate about it, you know, and I, I, I really am. And I, I, I'm on the border of losing my mind because I'm like, there's, you drop this conference. Here's great. The passion's like all over the place, out of control, mostly. It takes 10 steps out my window. And I sit down to dinner with somebody and I, and someone asked me like, why are you eating a ribeye? And I'll tell them that's all I ever eat. I had, then I looked up, it's like 10 minions looking at me, you know, and they're like, you know, I go, uh Oh, <laughs> I should have done this, you know? And then here comes security. Okay. Out you go. You know, uh, it's, it's really bizarre. It, it, it's exhausting, you know, but, someone knocking on your door like in, in a Rivero and, and, and wanting to share something uh, vulnerably, authentically, you know, to, to, for everybody else to benefit from, you know, what they're going through right now. You can't get any better than that. 
you know, and then when, when someone like, you know, wants to have a conversation with you on a, on a kind of a coaching thing, I go, that's a great conversation. You, you can't, you cannot top that. That's all. And, and you come up from a guy that's mute all day. I don't have a, a desire to have a lot of conversations with a lot of people. Oh, I'm half introvert, but this is great because they want to kind of better themselves or they're wandering just like I did at the beach. I'm wondering, you know, like, I wonder what happens. I wonder if I could be this or that. And I'm always like, why not? Why not? Why not you, man? You know, it's, I, can you answer that question without coming up with some BS excuse? No, you can't. It's impossible. You cannot do it. You know, cause everything you're going to come out is, is completely reversible. Oh, I got this. I got that. I, no, no, man. It's, it, it's you. Yeah. You're in charge and that could be intimidating. You know, you're in charge of your world. You really are. But I don't know if that came anywhere near answering your question. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> so somewhere in there, maybe there's like, you know, three words that came up with it. <laughs> no, no, this is awesome. This is wonderful. It's been very inspiring. Um, you, this has been the easiest interview I've ever had to do. I mean, quite honestly. <laughs> I appreciate but let that. Me just, we're, we're unfortunately running out of time here, but and I know you could probably oh, talk for hours. Tell me a little bit of just, just Molokai, for people who don't know, that's an, one of the Hawaiian islands. Tell me a little bit more in detail about the, what, what that actually entails because somebody was asking about that and then just uh maybe let people know if they want to contact you for coaching or just chat with you where to get a hold of you okay it's um i found um it's 28 miles from point to point if you're in a boat so you know you always wiggle around and go with the flow and it probably ends up a little bit longer and it's 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 grueling you know, it's, it's really rough. Not a lot of people have done it. A lot of failures. Uh, I wouldn't say failure. I hate that word, but a lot of people um, didn't make it uh, for one reason or another. And there's a lot of sea creatures there. And you swim at night. You swim at night um, because it's the, the, you, you try to stay out of the sun as much as you can. So you have to kind of, and it's, it'll take 12 to 15 hours. So you're going to get hit by the sun, but getting hit with, you know, your fears of the dark is less than getting hit with the sun, apparently. But um, and it's it's between Kauai and I'm blanking right now, um, another island in Hawaii. And I've been I've been I started this and stopped it. Um, excuse me, three times already. And while the boat, my boatman. I've talked to him several times. I also talked to the the, the previous oldest guy who ever swam, uh, Molokai. Great guys. I love this boat guy. He's old school, old school. This is the this is our first conversation. He's. I go. So what's going on? Like you know what's going on? Well, Nile. Um, yeah, we got a guy on our boat. Yeah, he got bit by a shark, but we put a tourniquet on him, so he's going to be okay. I'm like, whoa. This is. <laughs> This is what he came up with. And I, I walked away from that. I go, this is the guy I want. And um, so it's, it's one of the deepest channels. It's, it, there's a lot of, um, it's unforgiving. It's, it is definitely a feather in a cap. It'll prove some hypotheses. And um, yeah, I, I want a piece of this Rivero fight. And that's, that's the way I'm going to kind of do it. Uh, it's, I'm totally committed to it. It's four years. It, there's there's a lot of sacrifice and commitment uh, going towards that direction, and um, I feel fortunate to be able to, to 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 be in a position to use that as a catalyst to something else that's more that that's more important, uh, in my opinion. Just swimming from point A to point B is silly. Have a mission behind it have something to prove, you know, have a hypothesis and then go ahead and prove it and earn your beach spot wherever it is, you know, 
take swimming out of the mix. Take me out of the mix and put yourself in, you know, uh, and, uh, whatever that is, you know. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> well, okay, Hawaii. I, I'm just having a hard time getting on the planes. And, and plus, right now, they're, they're quarantined people still. It's, it's, a, it's a nut. It, it's crazy. So if you, if you go there and you, you had the quarantine for two weeks, your whole taper is blown. You know, so I, I have to wait for, I have to wait that anyway, but I got a plan B. Let me tell you, I got a plan. <laughs> Molokai is going to happen, but my training up to it uh, and building back up, um, I, I could do that in Chicago with the cribs. We have water filtration cribs and um, I, I just go back to my old routes. So with me and Ika, so we'll see. Maybe she'll want to be part of it. I'm not sure. Wonderful. All right. Well, that's a wonderful way to, to leave that on. Find your spot on the beach. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, Niall. Good luck for you. I, I'm sure we'll hear updates as it goes because I see you all the time. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here and uh, thanks for inspiring us. And uh, uh, thanks for everybody being part of the community. And we'll see you guys back tomorrow again. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Doc. Bye-bye now. Join Rivero.Health for a 30-day free trial to get access to live Q&A with VIP guests, social community meetings, member discounts, low-carb healthcare providers list, forum, workouts, monthly challenges, early access to podcasts, recipes, carnivore diet guide, fasting guide, shred guide, and much more. 